Hey everybody, Trenda here with another Walmart pickup grocery haul. I spent just over $100, which looking at it seems like kind of a lot for <laughs> what I got, but I did get some non-food items. If I have been mentioning, I know in my hauls that I have my middle son's birthday party coming up, so I got the last things for that, so I shouldn't have to go to the store and get anything else. And this, along with the Aldi haul you just saw, should last me two weeks. So even though I spent over $100 there, $100 here, if it lasts for two weeks, then that is okay by me. So I'm trying to, just by the way, because I know some people comment asking about my budget. This month, I'm trying to stay under $700 for the month. So if I can do two weeks on about 250 then I should be good to go all right let me go ahead and show you what I picked up all right this was actually a substitution I ordered the regular sun-dried tomatoes that don't compact in oil but they substituted this it's a much larger jar and that's fine I'll just pick up the other ones sometime else and I like these as well I just don't need the extra calories with the olive oil but my husband likes these and there might be a time if I have the extra points. Um, if you do not know, I am currently doing Weight Watchers. So if I have the extra points, I will just use these because they are a little bit nicer, not as dry as the other ones. And this is something new I thought would be cool to try out. This is Ragu's Barbecue Pizza Sauce. It's only 45 calories for a quarter cup, which seems pretty good. I love barbecue chicken pizza. So I might do it on like a flatbread for myself and try that out. Just sounded really good to try. And then we have strawberry and raspberry jelly from, or I should say jam, I don't know what you call it, from Costco. But lately my boys have been into grape. And at my Walmart neighborhood pickup, this is like the most natural kind of one I could find for now. So I'm going to see if they really do like the grape or if they just think they're going to like the grape for sandwiches and stuff. So we're going to try that out. This last thing is for the birthday party. I am having little cups with some snacks in it that they can just grab instead of sticking their hands in a big bowl. I thought that'd be easier. So I just got some of the mini twists and then we were almost out in the house. So I figured two might go for the birthday party and then just one extra to have for the pantry. We love those as a snack, all my boys do, or with hummus, it's great. And just for lunches, I just got these white cheddar baked cheese puffs. They just look neat, something different to try. And I don't like the orange ones because I feel like it gets all over their hands and I know my boys probably don't do the best at uh, wiping their hands when they're eating at school, so I thought the teachers would appreciate that. And then Carter, for his actual birthday night, I asked him what he wanted for dinner, and he picked beef stroganoff, and so I just needed the egg noodles for that. Just some of these little grape tomatoes. I love these. I could just snack on them all day, throw them in salads. They're just great. Texas toast, I am going to be making uh, French toast sticks for the freezer. I will leave a link down below. I have a video, one of my first videos uh, I made actually doing that. I did use whole wheat bread, which I do sometimes in that video, but we have been using the Texas toast and I know it is nowhere near as healthy, but oh my gosh, it is so good. And now that we have an air fryer, we heat them back up from frozen in the air fryer and they come out like crispy like they've been fr oh they're so good so my kids have been asking and I did really good I almost wanted to buy some when I was at Aldi the pre-made but I was like no I can get the Texas toast I just need to make them It'd be much cheaper that way and just some hamburger buns to keep in the freezer for hamburger night or we do a lot of uh different like sloppy joes and um, I do like a shredded chicken. I do on buns. I just like to keep those in the freezer. I have just been craving some pico de gallo, some fresh stuff. So I grabbed this. It's just mild. Looks good. And then I just picked up some pork sausage because I have some lasagna noodles that have been in my pantry forever. So I just need to make lasagna. And I actually already picked up the ricotta. So 
I'm going to be making that soon. And I just, when I moved, I can't find my comb for like parting hair. So this is only 50 cents. So I just need another one of those. It's funny. That's one thing about pickup. These look much bigger <laughs> online, but I haven't had these since I was a kid. I thought that would just be fun to give everybody a little taste of it one night after dinner. And then we needed some more chocolate sauce. This is the one we like to use. It's the Hershey Simply 5. It's really good. So we we probably go through one of these every six months. We don't make a lot of chocolate milk. We use it in like smoothies or sometimes as a topper for ice cream, different things. Sometimes Carter even will like it on his pancakes in place of syrup. So we don't go through it too fast. And then I just needed some more ibuprofen. This is the dye free, just very much better deal. I was looking at CVS, so much better deal at Walmart. And then this is just like some cheap hairspray uh, for the kids in the morning. Now this was quite expensive. You guys might uh, have some suggestions. So since I moved to Texas, and it's just weird because I don't see how it could be moving to Texas, but I feel like my hair is like falling out like crazy and I'm not pregnant. I, you know, my youngest baby's four years old. I haven't changed my diet, so I don't understand. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older or what, but it's driving me crazy. Not only because it's falling out and I can see my hair getting thinner, but because there's hair everywhere. <laughs> I have long hair. So anyways, so I kind of looked up the reviews for this. I really was thinking, well, maybe a, um, you know, leave-in conditioner and it would not make so many tangles. So, so much, I, I don't know what to do. So maybe you guys, if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment down below, or if you are familiar with this brand. So it's about 10 bucks for the six fluid ounces, but that should last a while. So I'm hoping, I don't know, I need to do something. So I'm going to give that a shot. My kids love, this is their favorite popcorn chicken from Walmart. So good in the air fryer. All of them love it. So I like to keep that on hand. And then you guys know I'm obsessed with these chopped onions. I mean, it's only like $1.15 or something for this bag. I get it. I could totally do my own for so much cheaper. But to not have to chop up onions, I'm all about it. And then I just picked up this onion and pepper blend. I thought this would be nice for like my eggs or whatever in the morning. Because I already have the chopped onions. And I was like, oh, I should get chopped peppers too. Just be lazy all the way if you're going to do it, right? <laughs> I'm busy. It's not because I'm lazy. Okay. Or maybe both. Anyways. All right. Diced chicken breast. These are not cooked. It's just like raw chicken breast. I'm almost out of chicken breast. And sometimes I just want to make a little bit for my lunches. And I have done this myself before. You can just buy chicken breast, obviously cut them up. And then I freeze them on a sheet pan so they don't stick together and then put them in a Ziploc bag. It'd probably be cheaper as well. But I don't have any chicken breast right now, and I just got this as a fast, easy, like, backup to lunches for me. I just I just felt like it. I've never bought it before, but I'm going to give it a try. All right, some graham crackers, because we have everything to make s'mores except for the graham crackers. And then Carter, on his actual birthday night, uh, he asked for red velvet cake, and I already have the cream cheese frosting I picked up at Aldi, but Aldi did not have the red velvet cake mix, so I grabbed that, and then I have just been craving barley. I love barley, and I saw this quick barley, and I thought I would give that a try, and this is one of my favorite frozen mixed vegetables. This is the sugar snap pea stir fry, so it comes with the sugar snap peas, broccoli, green beans, yellow squash, red pepper, carrots, yellow peppers, and water chestnuts. It is hard for me to find a stir fry brand without mushrooms, and I despise mushrooms, so I love this. And they have another one that's kind of similar, but they were out of right now that I just love to keep in the freezer. I love those. Uh, just a pizza to keep in the freezer. Uh, honestly, one of those does not even, it doesn't even come close to feeding my family anymore, so we do that more for like a lunch or uh, if I have a lot of sides or maybe a meal I know some won't like, I'll make that. But it will definitely take more than that to feed us for a dinner. All right, let me see. Let me come back around. I always forget something. Always. So let's see. All right, I'm going to try these out. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever used this or a brand similar to this. Honestly, like, I don't have time to go get my nails done. I just don't. Nixon only goes to preschool twice a week, and it's for three hours. And then there's a long drive time. 
So really only have a couple hours and I pack so much into that time that I need to get done. I don't have time to do nails. So I'm going to give these a shot. And honest, I'm going to be honest, you guys, I'm not like a girly girl. I do. I've never been like, I need to have my nails done. I don't know. To me, I don't enjoy going and sitting and getting that kind of stuff. I don't enjoy getting my hair done. I don't enjoy getting my nails done. I like the way it looks. Don't get me wrong. But I just don't have time and don't want. So I'm going to give these a try. We'll just see. But let me know. Have you used this brand or something close to it? Is there something else I should be looking at? I don't know. Anyways, candle because I just love having a candle burning in my kitchen. And my other one is down to there. I really like this one. This is a sweet apple. These humongous grapes, I don't know if you can see, these are just huge. That's fine. We just need, we have oranges and apples and pears and bananas. So, but these are really easy to throw in school lunches. I like those. And then some green onions. We are having Korean beef tonight and I'm going to throw that on top. And then some of my favorite, I love this ranch. And we were recently out of Hidden Valley, which my husband swears that's like the best kind ever and I actually hate it. But then, so I was like, try my Bolt House Farms and he actually loved it. So he was like, get some more of that. I'm like, oh yeah, good swap out, much better. And then just some jalapenos, not for anything in particular. I just like to have them to add into things and it's only like 25 cents for all these jalapenos to add to eggs or uh, burgers, whatever. We just, we love spicy food. So I'm all about having those. All right, and then a couple of the last birthday things. So some pretzel rods. You can see there's a couple broken in each, and I had a feeling that might happen. That's why I picked up three bags. They're only like a dollar each. So I'd rather have too many that, and then I'm going to do that with the almond bark, and then I have some bright green sprinkles to put on top. That'll be for the birthday party. So I will be doing those soon. This, I just ordered a half gallon of fat-free milk. That's what I use in my coffee every morning and a substitute with a gallon, which is fine. I'll just use it in cooking or find a way to use up because I won't use a gallon. I just use a splash every morning. And then you've probably seen me grab these before. So there was a point when the whole family just loved these. These kind of taste like the Dorito shells if you've ever had them from Taco Bell, but we are down to one kid that prefers these but that's fine. I will buy them for him. Not a problem. And then some is turkey sausage. I actually bought this uh, to do like some meal prepping for myself. Just some sausage and veggies and brown rice. I thought that would be good lunch. I'm pretty plain Jane. I'm easily satisfied. And then just another cornbread muffin mix. We like to have cornbread with like chili or certain certain soups or something like that. But it's not very often. So... I know I can make it myself, but it's not worth it to me to buy all the cornbread or the cornmeal, I should say, and do it. I just buy one of these for like 50 cents and keep it in my cupboard for when we get those because we don't uh, make that very often. Just some birthday candles because, like I said, we have a couple birthdays coming up. And speaking of birthdays, so my oldest wants a dirt cake for his birthday. And I always put some gummy worms coming out of the dirt there for his cake. So I grabbed those for that. And last but not least, I'm so excited about this. So this is cake batter flavor. I mean, I don't know. It just sounds <laughs> amazing. Actually, I want to put these, um, try these in pancakes. A little bit of this with some sprinkles and make some cake batter pancakes. I thought that would be super fun on their birthdays. So it says just use it like vanilla you would. I'm really excited to try that. I think it would be good in a lot of uh, things. So anyways, guys, thanks for hanging around. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.